And I gotta tell you, my friends, whether whether we agree with this war or not, whether we agree that we should have went into Baghdad and went into this conflict, we have to be proud of the young men and women who are serving this country. We've got to be proud. We've got to be proud of the young men and women who every day wake up in harm's way and watching those mortars come in and know that they're on a mission right now and a resupply mission going through Baghdad, that there may be an IED waiting for them to claim their life. And whether we agree with this war or not, we have to support our troops and understand that they're there only because our country asked them to go. But we have a moral obligation and we have a duty as a country and as a people to make sure that when those brothers and sisters of ours go over and fight and they defend this flag right here, that they have every protection that they need so that they can come home to their families like I was able to do. And I gotta tell you, my friends, when I flew some of those injured and wounded soldiers and fallen soldiers out of Baghdad, which wasn't fun, I often thought about my family here and thought about what those people are lo losing and leaving because they're fighting for our country. And they went there because our country asked them to go. And we have got to make sure that not only when they go and fight, that they have the protections and the, and the body armor that they need, like our governor stood up and fought for up-armored vehicles and fought for uh, the security vests that they needed, and make sure that they were safe when they flew in these missions and on these, on these uh, missions throughout Baghdad. He stood up and fought when it was unpopular to do so. And I want to be a congressman who makes sure that we protect our men and women who are serving under this flag because they are making us so proud. They are making us so proud of them. But that doesn't take away from the fact that although we have suffered greatly in terms of human costs, and the 4,000 soldiers that have been injured, and are, are sorry, fallen, and the 30,000 injured soldiers that are coming back to this country to start a new life, injured with brain injuries and missing limbs and the like, we have got to make sure that we fight every day and stand up for them because they stood up for us. And when they come back and go to Walter Reed in rat-infested rooms with mold growing on the walls and having to pay for their own meals, their own meals, eight bucks a meal, and having to pay for their phone calls to tell their folks that they're safe and they're back home and they're in their states. Something is wrong. And this administration in Washington have had a disconnect for too long. And it's time we stand up and put America first and put our troops first and put Americans first because they deserve it. Not only in terms of the lives that have been lost in this war. This war is costing America. It is costing Ohio and it's costing Stark County a great price. $4,000 a second is spent in Iraq. $12 billion a month is spent in Iraq. One out of every $100 in the last five years in the U.S. economy has gone to Iraq, one of the most wealthiest countries in the world. They have 300 billion barrels of oil underneath their soil, and we're building brand new roads and bridges and sewers and schools while we can't even pass a levy here in Stark County. My friends, in 2004, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Tommy Thompson, went to Iraq and he made sure that he brought one of many billion dollars, one of many billion dollar checks to the country so that every man, woman, and child in Iraq had universal health coverage. Every man, woman, and child in Iraq has universal health coverage thanks to the American taxpayers. You propose an idea like that in the halls of Congress, you'll be laughed out of the room. We can't afford it. There's no way that we could do this. And the president verified it when he vetoed SCHIP that would have spent $50 billion over five years to make sure that every child in America had health insurance. There's a disconnect in Washington. This administration for too long has put the special interest ahead of your interest, and it's time for a change, my friends.